This is Sean with the National Weather Service in Milwaukee with an update on the potential for severe weather on Tuesday afternoon and evening. We are looking at that risk for severe thunderstorms across southern Wisconsin and the impacts could include damage to trees and power lines and possibly even houses and structures depending on the type of severe weather we get. Here's a look at the hazards. Specifically, we're in a risk level two out of five, five being the top of the scale as far as severe thunderstorm uh, risks go. Uh, we have a slight risk for tornadoes, large hail, damaging wind, and we even have some potential for flash flooding if we get thunderstorms to repeatedly affect the same areas over time. This is a good point to think about where it is that you live and to know your location. Know the county and counties around you where the nearest city or town is and how far you are from it. This may be very helpful to you if a severe thunderstorm or tornado warning is issued for your area so you'll know the likelihood that you're going to be impacted and whether you need to take shelter. You can see this map in a print version on our social media pages on Twitter and Facebook if you'd like to look at it a little bit more closely. Outside of the severe weather risk, we are looking at uh, a potential for about an inch of rain on average across our area. However, some areas could see locally much more than that if thunderstorms repeatedly affect those areas. And as a result, there is a slight risk for excessive rainfall across our area. Uh, that means a slight potential for flash flooding and or uh, localized urban and small stream flooding as well. So that's another thing we'll uh, need to keep our eyes on. So just breaking down the main points for Tuesday, conditions may be favorable for severe thunderstorms, including all hazards. Uh, that means there is a potential for tornadoes as well. So you want to have a way to receive warnings like a NOAA weather radio or uh, uh, other device so that you know what's going on. And remember, you want to know where your location is as well, just in case a warning happens to be issued, so you'll know whether to take shelter. Remember, you can stay informed by following us via our website or social media and we will keep you informed on this potential severe weather risk coming up for Tuesday here for the National Weather Service in Milwaukee.